Did you know that the only way that Harvard can teach Ethics 101 is if they steal it from the Christians? I've been saying that for years, and with a smile on my face every single time. You see, Harvard, in its present condition, in its present state as a major university, will say that there are certain things that are right and wrong, but they have absolutely no standard by which to say that. So in the second part, the one that you just watched, the emphasis was on justice. So in this part, we want to talk about the issue of ethics. Where does this right and wrong come from? If you're not a Christian, if you're not a believer in the one true God, then you have to get your ethics from someplace because if ethics is just left to up, left up to us, then there's nothing really. Any community, any individual, any person is going to be able to tell you what's right and wrong for them and them trying to impose it on you. All of that is simply power. So when we think about the issue of stealing ethics, the only way that ethics can be taught from a Christian vantage point is if there is an eternal God who has established all things. So back to my mantra again. Knowing where we come from, where we're going to, helps us know how to live now. What are the present opportunities that we have to live in this life? And to complete the diagram, knowing where we come from and where we're going to helps us know how to live now. So in this case, here's my third diagram for this week. The emphasis then is on the eternal. If there is an eternal God who has established justice, he is going to be the one who completes and perfects all justice. Then I can count on him to say, he is going to be the one for me to establish right and wrong and ethics. And the only way that I can have ethics is if I have a foundation of ethics based upon the eternal. And that's the reason why I say that Harvard can only get their ethics from the Hebraic Christian point of view. They can only steal their ethics. And I say that with a smile on my face because of the irony of it. You can't really say that you have ethics and then go ahead and steal something. But my point is the same. If there is an eternal God, we know where we've come from. This eternal God is going to establish complete and perfect justice in the end, knowing where we're going to helps us to understand that there is a right and wrong, a standard for ethics, knowing how we ought to live now. That's the emphasis of what difference does all of this make. Where we start and where we finish is where we're going to understand how we ought to live life in the present day. That is a bedrock understanding of what it means to be a Christian, to think like a Christian, and to answer the question, what does difference does Christianity make?